Hey everybody, we're back today with a poor little gimpy duck. This is one of the ducks that went out to the pond and refused to ever come back, but she had a limp, something went on there, so we've uh, caught her with the net, and she's back, and she's actually very sweet, and has been very nice, and has been very good, and right now we're just going to have her in there for a couple of days so that she can heal her leg back up, and then we'll bring her back to the flock, but for now... She's just appreciating some dinner before she goes to bed, as it is, you know, like 8.30 or whatever, and it's time for baby duckies and chickens to be in bed. That being said, as you can see, she's pretty happy with her life, even though she has a gimpy left leg. Uh, she can't, she can't walk or anything like that right now, so she, you know, she only swims around with one leg, too. That's been a, a really serious thing, we've been watching her do it for a couple days, but... There's never been an opportunity to come and uh, get her, and she just happened to be segregated away from the rest of the flock uh, when we were putting all the other birds away tonight, and so we went up with the little net, and we got her, and we brought her back, and now she's been pretty good. She's, uh, it's looking like she's getting her food on. Must be nice for her. We've pet her and paid attention to her, and she's actually been very civil, uh, so we don't suspect that it's going to be too bad. Maybe we can even rehabilitate her a little to want to be on the land a little bit more again. Yeah, that's funny, though. You know, she's a duck. As you can see, she she's a, a standard peckin'. Nothing, nothing very special. She's just a typical white Aflac duck. That's how we like her. Yeah, she's just fine. Uh... Hopefully she'll provide some eventual good genes. Once we, uh, our plan, our new plan for the pond is to clear out all of the land around the pond, and that'll make it so even if they never come in from the pond, we'll at least be able to get their eggs because there won't be anywhere for them to hide their eggs. So that's gonna be reasonable enough, and hopefully we'll be able to bait them back with treats and things like that, and they'll get comfortable to living in the duck coop eventually. But for now, there's really nothing better that we're providing them, so they get to sleep uh, out on the pond every single night, and they've really been enjoying themselves just living a living a wholesome duck life. They're not laying age yet, so we're not losing anything for them to be feeding themselves. It's pretty fun, actually. And they're super adorable, super fluffy and soft. Don't don't mind her doing the, the head bobbing dealy. That's just her moving... Uh, feed down from her crop there yeah we're talking about you so uh yeah if you like her you want to see more quack quack if you want to see more remember to like subscribe do all those other lovely things that help support the channel go on down to the uh link tree link in the description hit up our uh all the places the other places that we do content support us there and if you're an especially educated and well attractive watcher do seriously consider heading on down to our Patreon and pledge even just $1 a month to help support this ducky and all of the other duckies and chickens that we show on our channel. And, uh, you know, join the Mighty Mighty Ranks and Mike the Microphone, our number one patron of all time, and Tollpans are our number one watcher of all time. Thanks a bunch, everybody, for coming. Stay safe, stay inside, stay healthy, and of course, remember to help, help each other. Thanks a bunch, everybody. Bye.